So imagine two massive cricket stadium, one in Bengaluru, one in Chennai, now connected so perfectly that every player on both grounds plays as one single team. Depends which pavilion are they coming out from. Anyway, that's actually what Microsoft just did. The world's most valuable software company turned two data centers separated by 700 miles into one giant AI supercomputer. Not a cloud region, not a cluster. A virtual super machine that behaves like a single system. And Microsoft didn't just announce this. It unveiled an entirely new class of AI infrastructure. Today's headline is simple. Microsoft launches the world's first AI super factory and it spans multiple states. So let us take a moment to actually absorb that. Now, now that we have, earlier this year, Microsoft announced Fairwater, a special class of data centers purpose built for AI. Today, they went further. Fairwater Wisconsin plus Fairwater Atlanta is equal to one AI super factory. And this unified system brings hundreds of thousands of Blackwell GPUs, five plus million optical connections inside a single site, 120,000 miles of new AI fiber connecting regions, 800 GBPS, GPU to GPU bandwidth, two story GPU racks to cut cable length, closed loop liquid cooling with near zero water waste. This, as we can clearly understand, is a redesign of physics around AI compute. And yes, training jobs that took months now take weeks. In his post announcing Fairwater, Satya Nadella said this, Fairwater is our vision for a fungible fleet, infrastructure that can actually serve any workload anywhere with maximum performance and efficiency. Clearly, for Microsoft, this is about making millions of GPUs behave as one organism. Nadella also revealed over 100,000 NVIDIA GB300 GPUs coming online this quarter for inference fair water built for pre-training, fine-tuning, RL, synthetic data generation. So all sites connected by a continent-spanning AI van, which basically is every gigawatt converted into maximum useful AI tokens. So it's a new philosophy. Not every gigawatt is created equal, but Microsoft wants every gigawatt to behave like one. What makes this different from traditional crowd? Well, here it is. A normal data center runs millions of small jobs. Fairwater runs one colossal job across continents. So in Microsoft's words, it's not one site training a model. It's actually a network of sites supporting a single job, end quote. Each site contributes to the same frontier model, the same training loop, the same compute graph, the same memory state, and this is model parallelism at a planetary scale. No hyperscaler has shown this publicly before. And you know what? Microsoft just did. Microsoft's AI super factory delivers Rack scale NB link between 72 Blackwell GPUs, 1.8 TB per second GPU bandwidth per rack, 14 plus TB pooled memory per GPU, two tier Ethernet back end Sonic powered, vendor neutral switching 140 KW per rack power density, two story architecture for low latency cable paths. Uh, paths I'm sorry. Plus, a closed loop cooling system that uses less water in six years than, wait for this, 20 homes consume annually. This solves the biggest physics challenge in AI today, which is distance, heat, bandwidth, latency, power density. So fair water answers all of them at once. And here is the industry shockwave. Competitors are building too. Amazon's project, Rainier, 1,200 acres, 2.2 gigawatts. Google, multi-billion dollar TPU campuses. Meta, massive training grids. OpenAI, Anthropic, dedicated GPU cities. But you know what? Microsoft's strategy 
is actually different. Turn every data center into part of one global AI fleet, fully elastic, fully fungible, fully interconnected. Nadella puts it quite bluntly in his internal meetings, which is, we must 10x training capacity every 18 to 24 months, end quote. Fairwater is the infrastructure to hit that curve. Frontier AI is no longer trained in a building. It's trained across geographies because models aren't doubling, they're exploding. 100 tri uh, trillion parameters, 200 trillion parameters, synthetic data regimes, reinforcement learning pipelines, multimodal active agents. A single data center can't handle the next decade, but a super factory spanning states can definitely do that and soon spanning continents. And here is, of course, the final take on front page. Microsoft hasn't just connected two data centers, it has connected two power grids, two regions, two GPU mega clusters, two training fabrics, two generations of AI systems into one elastic compute organism designed for trillion parameter intelligence, 700 miles apart, mind you, acting like one. This is not cloud, as we mentioned. This is infrastructure for AGI. Yes, we said that. And it marks the beginning of a new era. Planet scale AI super factories. Not tomorrow, not in five years, today. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below.